as you can see I've hauled a bunch of stuff here to the yurt we're gonna start um, furnishing the yurt right now I think I'm gonna use this as a little stepping area although I don't know it's a little weak maybe that won't work it can be used as a fence or something to keep the animals out I was gonna use it here so you can step on it and clean your feet but it's not gonna work it's too flimsy and um, Thinking of um, removing this unit, instead of using it as a kitchenette, I'm thinking of using two of them sideways like that as the base of a bed. Platform for a bed. So you're like really high up off the ground. <laughs> for the animals, you know, in case they come in. But um, we've still got to go haul some more items. Um, specifically the tiles, which are pretty heavy and going to take me out a bunch of trips. I'm going to try to do it. It is almost 7.30 at night. Um, getting dark out here. I mean, it is dark out here, but I'm going to try to haul some more. I did bring some mothballs, which I'm going to start spreading out maybe today or tomorrow. Um, might even spread it out tonight. I think I'm going to spread some out right now before I make another trip back. And as you can see, I've, uh, spread mothballs out all around the yurt and the surrounding area. I've just been tossing them in various locations around here. To try to discourage the critters from coming back and specifically I've been putting them around the yurt itself to every so many paces to try to keep the animals from wanting to come here but it actually sounds like um, while I'm back here the others are at Camp Freedom too I think I'm gonna head out there to see what's going on out there because they sounded like they were pulling right up to my stuff The others are like all over the place right now. I can he hear them everywhere. they were. I can't tell where the sound's coming from. They're all nearby. I thought they were right here, but and I thought they drove off. Maybe they were here and left. Right, as you can see, the sun is starting to go down. I might try one more trip, maybe two more, to try to haul some of this item back there. Give myself some stuff to work with. Um, I've hauled a bunch of the bigger stuff. I just need to haul these smaller pieces. Maybe I'll even take a chair. I'll leave the chair here for now. It's uh, nearly nighttime. I have hauled as much as I can for tonight. You can see it is uh, dark out here now. Um, well, it looks bright out here. It's still dark. I mean, it's the camera makes it look bright, but it is dark. I just went out on my last batch, and one of the others was actually in the camp at Camp Freedom 2. And um, they drove through, then just left. They didn't stop to get out or anything. They might have seen me coming out of the woods with my machete. I don't know. But... Um, <laughs> The place is swarming with others. So, at this point, um, it's getting dark, and I don't think I want to go in and out of here in the dark. Especially since I hear gunshots in the distance. Um, I think they're hunting. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. And um, I don't think I'm going to spend the night here. There's too many others out here. So, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night and head back. And uh, maybe try to resume tomorrow or sometime later this week.